Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to show you how you can optimize your machine learning costs on SageMaker using savings plans. Uh, savings plans is a cost optimization feature that has been available for a few years on Amazon EC2 and compute in general, and now it's also available for SageMaker. Okay, so let me show you how to get started. So first you go to the cost management console, okay, and you select that saving plans uh, entry. If you're not familiar with uh, what savings plans are, there's an overview here. Okay, and, and we'll see how those plans actually work, uh, how to select the, uh, the hourly commitment uh, on a one year or three year period, how much upfront we want to pay, Etc. Etc. If you're familiar with savings plans on EC2 and compute, this is really really similar. So you, you know you won't be uh, you won't be thrown off. Okay. Uh, so feel free to read all of this to become familiar with savings plans. And aha. Okay. This is the good part. Uh, I can save a bit on compute and, and EC2, but it looks like I could save a lot on SageMaker. Okay. So um, let's see what this is. I can click on this. And it actually takes me directly to the recommendations. Okay, so the recommendations actually look at my past SageMaker usage, and they're going to recommend uh, a plan um, that maximizes my savings. Okay, and I can select this plan, or I can create my own, I, as I will also show you. Okay, so let's try to make sense of uh, this uh, this plan here. So obviously, make sure you select SageMaker. Okay, this is the one we want. Um, and the first parameter is uh, the term. So uh, the, the basic mechanism here is I'm going to commit for a certain level of usage uh, and I can decide to commit for one year or for three years. Okay, so let's start with one year. Then I can decide whether I want to pay upfront for this usage. So I'm going to pay in advance for that uh, commitment, right, over the one year period. Um, and if you pay all up front, uh, you, you'll get a, a better discount. Um, you can select partial up front or no up front, okay? meaning you don't pay anything at all. Okay? Partial up front means at least 50%. So let's try with no up front first. Okay? And then we see um, the time period on which the recommendation is defined. So you should select the, the time period that looks like your future usage. So if you've just started using SageMaker and or you've been ramping up massively, maybe you've been experimenting for a few weeks and now, you know, for a, a week now you've been uh, in production at large scale, then, you know, seven days is probably good. Uh, if you've uh, already been using SageMaker over a longer period, maybe one month or two months, then feel free to select those. Okay, so again, that past usage should look like uh, your future usage. Okay, so let's just say I'm using SageMaker all the time. So let's just pick 60 days. Okay, and then scrolling down here, I can see um, so how much I'm currently spending on SageMaker on demand. So a little more than $5,000 per month. Yes, I'm, I am running a lot of SageMaker. And that means uh, $7.3 per hour. Okay. And if I actually use the plan that is recommended here, I will spend uh, 4.4K uh, dollars. Okay. And this means about six point, uh, yeah, six about six dollars per hour, okay, and so I'm going to save about just a little under nine hundred dollars per month, okay, and so what this means is uh, it's about seventeen percent savings compared to on demand, right? As you can see here, so by just committing to uh, uh, a certain level of usage, uh, and, and we'll see that commitment below, uh, for over one year and uh, no upfront, I'm saving 17%, just like that, okay? So our commitment here would be $3.793 per hour, okay? Um, and as you can see, we leave out an average $228 per hour for extra on demand. So we're not optimizing 100% uh, 
of the existing on-demand usage that we see here, because you know it's likely there will be some some variations. So uh, you know if if your usage drops a little bit compared to those 60 days, then you know your commitment would be too high. So uh, we go for a slightly lower commitment and we keep that buffer on-demand spend uh, to account for you know variations, so that you avoid overcommitting. Okay. So, um, so this is uh, the only thing you have to do, really. And of course, you can uh, you can try other parameters. So let's try three years. And of course, you know, three years is a longer commitment. So we would get, I don't know, thirty six percent savings now. Okay, which is uh, which is really good. Um, and we could see the updated uh, commitment here, of course. And we could experiment with, you know, upfront. Um, and see how far we could go. So if we decided to pay everything up front, then we could go up to 40% savings. Okay. So it's really for you know it's up to you to decide you know if you want to pay uh, in advance. And and some organizations actually prefer that because uh, for budgeting uh, purposes, you know they prefer you know uh, upfront payments. It makes it more uh, you know predictable and, and easier for them to to track their spend and um and you know some organizations will prefer no upfront uh because they're uh, they're happier uh they're happier that way right they're just want to minimize uh upfront payments okay so that's quite flexible and you can you can find the plan that works for you okay okay so let's say you know let's say i want to go for one year and no upfront um and I'm, I'm already happy with that and i could just add the plans to the cart Okay, and I could just go to my cart here, and I would just, you know, purchase this, send my order, and uh, and that's it. Okay, and there's no upfront payment here, as we can see, so I don't need to pay anything now. Um, and then, you know, every month for a year, because that's the term of my plan, based on my commitment, every month I will be charged. Uh, two thousand seven hundred and something dollars. Okay, that really again corresponds to this commitment, uh, this hourly commitment over uh, a one month period. Okay, so every month I will pay this, and I will also pay, of course, uh, any extra on demand usage. Okay, remember we kept that buffer, um, so um, if you actually use more than your commitment, this will be charged at the on demand price. Okay. All right, so I could just submit submit this order, and and this would uh, this would start saving me money, right? And quite a bit of money actually. Okay, now let's say um, let's say I'm interested in trying my own plan. Okay, so instead of using those recommendations here, right? I want to create my own, so I can see. My current on-demand spend is 6.54. Oh, let me go back to 60 days, maybe. Yes. So we'll have the same number. So it's $7.3 per hour. Okay. So I could go to purchase savings plans, and I could select my own. And I could say, hmm, okay, I want to do a, a one-year plan. And maybe, you know, maybe I expect my... Maybe I expect my usage to drop, uh, or maybe I'm I'm a little bit conservative. So I'll just go and uh, and say, okay, I just want to commit for two dollars per hour. Okay, um, you know, I don't want to I don't want to commit too much. I'm not so sure what my SageMaker usage is going to be in the next year. So two dollars, you know, I can I can commit to more. I'm not so sure. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to do partial upfront. Okay, so yeah, I could. You know, I'm ready to pay for let's say half of the plan right now, okay? And in this would turn out to be eight thousand seven hundred something dollars, okay? I could set a start date, so I could say, all right, I want this to apply, you know, uh, May first, right? And now I can see my summary. So my upfront cost is this, which is fifty percent of the total commitment over a one-year period. And then my monthly payment would be $730, okay, every month for a year. And so the total cost of the plan would be uh, $17,000 something dollars, okay? 
So that's the flexibility that you have. You can either use the recommendations, right, as we, as we saw. Let me show you the recommendations again. Okay. And maximize your, uh, maximize your savings with those recommendations. Or you could go and, you know, build your own and, uh, and commit for the uh, commitment that you want to set. You can go as low as, uh, I think the lowest, yes, the lowest is point zero zero one dollars Okay, so that's a super, super low commitment. And, and you, can, you can build a plan that you want. Okay, and then add it to the cart uh, and, and pay for uh, any upfront that you've selected and start enjoying your savings. Okay. All right. Well, as you can see, this is a, this is a really uh, this is a really simple thing. It's uh, it's also very uh, very efficient at, at optimizing your costs. Okay. Again, you know, no upfront uh, on over one year, and I could save 17% already, uh, and that's pretty cool, right? So I hope this is useful. So um, uh, try it out. Uh, send us feedback. Ask us questions, and start saving money. Thank you. Bye bye.